Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on this Monday. Let's see what day it is. 12th, 12th of December. Big, big week this week. <clears throat> Going to be a fun week. Uh, be patient. There's a lot of places and a lot of chances to make money this week. So um, let's be patient. First on the dock, it is Sterling. We had sterling, um, there was lots of news over the weekend about the price of energy in the UK, how um, it's just gone off the rails, uh, so that wasn't great, this is why we've had the first move is a down move, you can see we traded a high of, I mean, pretty dicey up there, it was, it was very, very thin at the open, 62 the high, but straight down that first hour to 34. Traded all the way down to 12, yep, yeah, 12. Here we are, 25, 26. We got these numbers in 42 minutes. Um, it's GDP and a whole slew of other numbers. Uh, construction output, trade balance, industrial production, the whole kit and caboodle. And if you look, uh, the market expectation is for for negative on everything, right? GDP the forecast is 0.4. Actually, no, I take that back. Last GDP was minus 0 0.6. Now they're looking for up 0 0.4. So there's going to be some volatility here either way, right? So if this thing comes in on the negative again, they're going to smash cable. Um, but if this thing comes in wildly positive, um, they're going to rip cable. So uh, hold on to your hats. 41 minutes. Let's look at this chart, see if there's any really decent levels. I mean, 122.02 is kind of the range, interesting range lows. Let's see what happens if we draw some sort of upward sloper here. Uh, 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 uh. Looks like we're through that. This one will be even steeper. Um, I don't know. Let's look at um, let's look at the daily low on Friday. Yeah, that's that one twenty-two. The figure through the figure, uh, new daily low. It's obviously going to be driven by negative numbers. Um, that will be your indication that. Um, you can likely on the day get safely short so look for figure to print or 99 to print and then maybe sell back up you know if that figure 20 area that seems to be a decent uh, strategy for these numbers uh, top side 123.21 was the high, but the real huge high, 123.44. But if we get above 123.22, you can probably um, ex have the expectation that um, we're going to get up to 123.50. So it's always going to be tricky when these numbers are released. So, you know, if you miss it or if your liquidity sucks, it's okay. Just sit back, take a breath. Uh, one of the great adages that I've ever been taught in trading is there's always another trade, right? You see me every fucking morning going, good morning, privateer FX, blah, blah, blah. Today we're buying Aussie. Today we're whatever, selling sterling. We're looking at dollar yen. Um, there's always another trade. So don't get fixated. Uh, and if your head's not right, if you're not ready for this, just take, be patient. There's more to come. I want to look at stocks. We haven't traded stocks in a while, but this is like such an interesting week. Um, CPI tomorrow, FOMC Wednesday. This 39.20 area, super important. 39.14, that low. 39.12, the low on 17. Um, I'm not saying this is going to go left, but if this, if U.S. rates, if this thing goes right or goes higher stocks are going to go down so catalyst is always going to be rates this week we're watching this where are we going to put our bull bear this week 
just looking at this daily chart it's right around 365 364 so we had 355 on there um, last week because of this low here these lows here from October but now we're just looking at you know we have this little recency bias in our head what's going on recently we're going to use 364 below 364 is sort of dovish for the dollar uh, the further below the the more dovish uh, but above 364 more importantly this will surprise this is the this is the pain trade this week if CPI is hot if the Fed raises 75 these are these will all massively surprise uh, the market and things will go fucking bananas um, where's the where's the most bang for your buck on the bananas trade it's probably stocks bang um, you want to just smoke the pony I never trade Nazi as most of you know but it's the same chart right and there's going to be more bang for your buck in the Nazi if rates are higher 11400 um, here are these lows here 11422 this is 11433 um, let's just say the pony will get smoked um, if rates start screaming higher so these are these are the what if scenarios that you're creating in your head once you create the what if scenarios then you go to your charts or you remember levels or you've been you've been watching price action all day so you you remember these price levels um, watch stocks this week um, especially if it's hawkish if it's dovish eh. Um, stocks will go higher but it'll be less aggressive dollar yen is going to be your pair on steroids this week fully just straight line rate uh, rates driven 137.84 which is that weird high last week which is now the pivot these we talked about going into 137.50 if you remember on Tuesday or Wednesday I forget now it's Tuesday we saw, or no, that was Monday. Sold dollar dollar yen at forty. Forty three was the high. It went down one hundred fifty points. We were we were playing between one thirty seven figure fifty. Obviously, we could have earned more on that, but it was a fine trade. This is your pivot now. Uh, above eighty four, uh, it's going to be clear sailing, um, and then downside. Uh, it's not super clear where the pivot is downside, but. Maybe maybe this is going to be your pivot at the 200-day, 135.09. And that seems far away, right? 200 points in dollar-yen. But uh, in case you haven't been paying attention, dollar-yen moves 200 points, uh, you know, faster than Cinderella loses her virginity on any given Saturday night. Uh, so no big deal, dollar-yen. Um, 137.85 and 135 the figure two very interesting points here's this euro cad we've been sort of slightly obsessed with um, this is a reflection of the euro price we feel this is going to turn why because we feel the market is way too bearish crude again we're not trading crude we're just watching crude um, just keeping it real simple what was the high uh, Friday 7292 above 73 bucks you know this thing could turn quickly we've had one two three four five six six down days in a row we have all kinds of pundits the Goldman guy saying like sell oil stocks um, which I have no view on I haven't uh, I haven't looked at the free cash flow and all the important shit about those stocks but I'm, I'm just saying too many people all of a sudden at 70 bucks where we spent the entire year like above 90 and all this and they're bullish now at 70 they're all bearish um, I don't know there's a rat in the kitchen where am I gonna be gonna take that rat 6712 is your two and a half sigma um, if you want to like look for the stretch mean reversion play um, but mean reversion on oil often doesn't work that great you can see uh, this thing sometimes it works but a lot of times oil goes five sigma uh, so be careful on that 
again we're not trading oil but we are watching EuroCAD for a turn um, downside EuroCAD is of interest to us but we need catalyst um, and it's going to be oil for this it will be our catalyst and if you're afraid of US rates and you're afraid of of all of the releases today uh, uh, this week some of these cross trades cr some of these crosses will be easier to trade right there will be less fall US rates don't are not going to affect EuroCAD um, they could affect oil a little bit so you know keep an eye on that if it's super dovish this week oil will go higher but EuroCAD is a little bit safer um, heading into US CPI and US FOMC which is the Tuesday Wednesday double demolition duty um, this week let's buzz through these charts anyway uh, not much going on in Aussie middle of nowhere we talked on Friday we got paid obviously we were long Aussie it was a bit of a grind most of the day but we did see 68 the figure the options did come into play the high was 6813 um, we have gap down today not sure why we gap down um, was there Chinese news I don't know what's going on but the fact of the matter is Aussie's not doing too much right so there's no real play in Aussie uh, at the moment dollar cad also middle of nowhere is this gonna zip through 137 the figure that's a technical point you could actually probably trade some momentum there if the story's right um, but we're not really looking at dollar cad per se right now euro again also not doing anything at the lower end of this uh, this range what was the low on Friday 10502 what was the low today 10505 let's put this in a little bit closer I mean I don't know looks bearish but uh, no dog in, in this fight sterling um, we're gonna be trading these numbers we do um, we have a little core on that we played at the at the open we'll see how we do on this uh, you know but we need we don't have enough size in this thing to make it uh, interesting yet so we need to see how these numbers come out below 122.05 I think then you're gonna have a little bit of a green light to be short cable above 123.25 you get the green light to be long cable um, news flow has been fairly negative uh, not to mention the fact uh, that they lost to the French um, in the World Cup dollar yen we already talked about let's not beat dead horses um, let's see euro Aussies yeah it was a big big red day on Friday kind of eating some of that back nothing to do in your Aussie Aussie yen also not interesting euro cad we talked about Swiss yen middle euro yen middle dollar Swiss is at the lows here if you want to buy dollars and you want sort of like pussy vol dollar Swiss is your horse so if rates are are screaming higher and you're too too much of a pussy to trade dollar yen dollar Swiss is your horse we talked about it um, it's sticky down here on uh, you know between 93 and 90 cents in dollar Swiss it's sticky as in it's not it doesn't go down super well and even if euro goes to 110 there's a good chance that euro Swiss goes to 105 and dollar Swiss just stays 9350 so the risk reward here in dollar Swiss is to be long you need a catalyst it has to be rates um, I don't know why you'd trade it except for the fact that um, you lack testosterone or you're you're a little nervous Nelly um, dollar yen is more fun these days but dollar Swiss you know stumbles around it's kind of like the drunk cousin of dollar yen kind of stumbles around and follows it around like a little lap dog uh, with less fall euro sterling is going to move today big red day on uh, Friday I didn't really understand that um, looked like the sterling yen was bought at the fix range lows now 85 sort of 60 70 have been sort of important um, 
this thing comes in super hot. Maybe Euro Sterling is your horse versus Cable, right? Taking out, you know, you could be short Euro Sterling going into uh, US CPI, whereas you can't really have a Cable position tomorrow going into US CPI. Uh, cannot do that. It's going to be a ripper tomorrow. Cad Yen, uh, nobody cares. Dancing uh, by himself on the low end of the range. Cat Swiss also dancing by himself on the low end of the range, but there's no real signals here. This looks stretched. Cat Swiss obviously is the same as Eurocad. Our bias is north here. Um, but we don't really trade Cat Swiss too much. We're more Eurocad guys. Kiwi, nobody cares. Sterling Yen, middle of nowhere. Aussie Cad, we just added this one in here um, mainly for mean reversion purposes, but. Um, there's Aussie Cad. Looks like it wants to turn as well after a big green day. We're obviously not touching that. Um, dollars are, we're in the middle of the political bar or the news driven bar. First of December, this thing went uh, psychedelic, and now we're in the middle of nowhere, right? The psychedelic high is call it 18. Psychedelic low is like 17. So at 17.34, there's not much to do. Um, but if you do want to take some mushrooms and trade FX, you might as well just break trade this up through 18 and break trade this down through 17. Um, be a good trade if you're, if you're dancing on the ceiling on a psychedelic trip, uh, which probably we don't recommend. Trading's hard enough. Um, why would you trade on mushrooms? This is a fade um, up at 60. Euro Norway, we really like selling this up at 60. Could we, could we get a triple top? Maybe. Have Did we miss it? Probably. Um, I have a feeling Euro Norway is going left, but again, this is my little oil bias, um, so we'll see. Kiwi Yen, top of the range, not much to do, and Sinaloa is, I don't know whether the drug shipments are lower, um, or maybe they're higher, I guess, dollar, dollar max, they get their dollars, they got to buy max, no, drug shipments are lower, that's dollar max higher, no, I'm teasing, that doesn't affect. Uh, or maybe it does, but it's actually probably not that funny, but sort of funny. Bunch of highs up here at uh, 1990 and then 1990. Um, we are not trading dollar max. Gold, this is gold futures. We haven't been trading gold all that much. Um, we got into a little bit of a Stewart's with some global macro guys while we were in London about the price of gold and some of the gold crosses. People who trade gold are very emotional. Um, <laughs> and I find that just stupid, right? You don't get the whole point of being a professional trader is you don't get emotional. Uh, I could give a fuck if gold is at 1700, 1200 or 4200. Um, are there, are there, is there PL to be made is the only question. Um, 18 and a quarter, interesting highs. This is the futures market. This isn't in spot. Uh, don't give a fuck about gold. Crypto, not doing anything. Kind of a little lower. You can see the volatility in Ethereum has just died a death. Um, and this is basically, no one is trading this anymore. People have just fucking given up the ghost. Um, we'll see what the next catalyst is. Uh, don't know, but uh, just nobody cares about crypto anymore. Game, game's over. We have some currencies down here. Sterling Swiss, um, which is sort of the pussy version of Euro Sterling, not doing much. Um, we don't care about any of these Aussie Kiwi. Don't care. Anyway. Watching sterling today, 122 and a quarter as we speak. Um, numbers are out in 23 minutes. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough. You deserve it.
cheers.